Hi, so I'm going to talk to you about this project called Kinetic. It was a project I did with my last studio and was really interesting because it started off with no brand and no name even for this. So we had to come up with a name, brand, logo, guidelines and then finally a website. So a great opportunity to start something from completely scratch. It all began with a meeting with my bosses and the client and they had a workshop where they thrashed out different ideas and came up with some name with some words that would help us. So we found out that the company is really about so the company is a um venture capitalist. They invest in different technology different technology and so they their motto is that they want to do technology for good. And they want to do it by creating positive disruption. So the whole studio uh, had their two cents into coming up with the name. Everyone had different processes. This was some of mine. And we put we collected our best and put them forward. And in the end, the final name was partially, was actually came up for, was thought of by the client after our, after our suggestions maybe inspire them. Um, the name was Kinetic and it was all about energy and motion and this was the starting point to the rest of the creative process. So once we had the name Kinetic, we had to think of a visual identity. Um, I took, I began by taking the word and thinking of its different the different ways that kinetic can be um, understood and thinking of different words that come out of those words and conceptually put it down to three roots there's kin kinetic being all about all about energy kinetic being like a force like a force for good or spark like the really the beginning of a big explosion but then that's conceptually and uh, then thinking about it in a logo sense there was visually like geometric could represent uh, kinetic in its movement. It could be all about bold typography and then being really specific about how that's treated to present kinetic. Or it could be this really um, light, airy, organic energy that could visually summarise kinetic. So I'd done lots of sketching and then done loads of logos in Illustrator and here you can see some of them stuck up onto the walls which we went through with my creative director and chose our favourite. We presented four to the client, um, not just logos on itself but logos with propositions and then we wanted to present more than just black and white logos so we put, so we began to like put colour and texture onto them and pres to present to the client. So there were four logo ideas. There was um, the first one. So this is kinetic. It's all very thin and precise. Kinetic being experts in the field. They know how to build ideas from its smallest, finest details. And this, and presented like this, could be different backgrounds maybe the background could be like dna could be space could be electronics but given this really finite precise logo in front of a abstract texture and um, the next uh, logo idea was this kinetic disrupting the standard making new unexpected conclusions this is putting kinetic in the marketplace as being really bold and disruptive so we're the, the typography is broken up and really sharp. That same treatment can be treated on the images. And you can imagine scrolling down a web page and these uh, the photo photography cuts apart and things like that. The final logo idea was this one, an open-ended view of the future where the possibilities are endless. So opening up the typography and giving them loads of space and maybe these words the letters aren't made are made from more than just the letter K. Their shapes coming together, and the inspiration for this came from this LED sculpture. And so the treatment I put was this infinite uh, space of LEDs where kinetic is formed. 
And so that was the chosen route. This was our favourite and preferred route. So we're glad that they chose that. And um, once we had the logo and the brand, we then had to go and create the website. So stage three website. Um, the website, we began by looking at small agencies actually because they were very similar in size of people it's all about the founders and investment and um so we i just looked at these di different websites see saw how they presented themselves saw how they laid out their home page how they did case studies and began to put together our, our version for kinetic so i found like an example of a great home page set up and then applied our fonts and type of, and colors and here I'm beginning to um, create this create the home page and just showing that process um, so these are the final pages home page about us team currently with placeholder photography these are the mobile screens it was a responsive site and then finally we presented to the client so this is the client and it was really interesting um, being in in their office and seeing their feedback to something that I'd been interpreting for them so it was really interesting once everything was signed off we then had to hand over to the developer and here is just showing some of the emails that I had to send to 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 show how to tighten up the typography and the images and just managing that part of the project. We also needed photography. We were using placeholders at the time, but we briefed a photographer and here I'm showing the what how I needed the crops to be to work on mobile and landscape on a desktop. Um so that was cool. Then there was the home page. Okay. So for the client wasn't too happy with the image we were using at the time. It was too prestigious and about like um um like sh commercial shopping and things like that. So I went back with some different different options. So it was more they could it, could be the homepage hero being more about the areas of work like transport or and different technology or it could be just really abstract representing kinetic energy so going back to one of those previous ideas and having this like abstract energy or it could be images of the portfolio projects that they're currently working on but in the end they actually they like the London but they just wanted a different image and with different cities the way they are doing disruptive good. And finally, I'm just showing that I did a bit of uh, printing, print work on it too, coming up with the business cards and picking up the Pantone colors to get that correct electric blue. And thank you. So I didn't mention that this was my presentation that I presented back to the studio and it's like for the other designers to see and yeah, what I can't remember what I said that I learnt, but I learnt a lot, and I learnt I actually learnt that that creative process from starting with nothing to also presenting to the client where we could have just presented black and white logos as JPEGs. We instead took each logo and made them its own proposition with its own tagline and a different look and feel all together and. I just really enjoyed the process working with a creative director and working with the client and presenting to them and giving them something that they that they were really proud of and that I was really proud of. So thanks.